Hello my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I bring you another exciting and informative acrylic paint review. You know that I'm always on the lookout for affordable and good quality acrylic paint. And today I bring you the review of a little gem that I found because I like to share all my findings with you. This is not a first impressions. I have used this paint and tested it already. I have done a few paintings, including this Picasso inspired mother and child painting. But I'm gonna talk more about that on the review. Okay, my friends, without further ado, Let's get on with the review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Castle R12 acrylic paint set. The paint comes in this beautiful, sturdy cardboard box. Now, the packaging is very important to me because this is going to ensure that the paint arrives safely at my house. And I can also store my paint in the box when I'm not using it. This is not a first impressions review. I have been using this paint since I purchased it at the end of April. This is not a sponsor video. I purchased this paint with my own money from amazon.ca. When I purchased this paint, it was $30. And I checked today and it's gone up a little bit. It is $35. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And the way it's stored, it has two layers of 12 tubes of paint. This is the first layer and this is the second layer. The paint is stored in these plastic containers where the tubes fit very well. Each tube of acrylic paint is 75 millimeters. So these are large tubes of acrylic paint. So for the current price of $35, each tube works out to be about 2.9 Canadian dollars. Let's round it to $3. And this is an extremely good price because most acrylic paint this size they are normally six dollars and over. Like I mentioned earlier, I've been using this paint since I purchased it. I did this mother and child Picasso inspired painting. I've also used this paint to do a couple of commission artwork. Also, this little pamphlet came in the box. It's a painting tutorial to paint the bee feeder, and it shows you all the steps to follow on how to paint the bee feeder. So I went ahead and did this painting. I'm going to go ahead now and swatch the colors for you. I'm going to swatch the colors in the same order as they came stored in the box. The first color is titanium white. I'm going to do large swatches so you can see. I find most whites on acrylic paint are not, are not opaque lately. But as you can see, this one is covering all the writing I did. So it's a very nice opaque titanium white that covers really good. The second color is lemon yellow. This is like a primary yellow. I normally prefer a richer, darker yellow, but this one is fine. The next color is alizarin crimson. This is a beautiful, dark, rich red. One of my favorite reds. This is especially a good color when painting portraits to use this shade of red. The next color is cobalt blue. This is a very pretty, rich, soft blue. The next color is lamp black. Look how dark and pigmented this black is. 
The last color from the top layer is emerald green. This is a soft minty green, I would say, more so than emerald. Very pretty color. The first color from the second layer is yellow ochre. This is a deep yellow with brown undertones. The next color is vermilion. This is a bright dark orange. The next color, ultramarine blue. A deep dark blue. See, this is much darker than the cobalt blue. But it's really nice to have the option of a different blue. The next color is Viridian. This is a dark green with blue undertones. More of a cool green. The next color, Burnt Sienna. A rich caramel brown. And last but not least, Raw Amber. A dark chocolate brown with more of a cool undertone. So these are the 12 colors, my friends. I have my basic colors covered with black, white, and brown, raw amber. I also have primary colors with alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, and lemon yellow. I also have very useful colors for artists, such as yellow ochre and burnt sienna. And I have a few more options with this pretty cobalt blue, the soft emerald green, the deep, dark, cool green viridian, and this very vibrant dark orange vermilion. Now, this paint is for all surfaces. You can use this acrylic paint on canvas, wood, ceramic, fabric. It has a beautiful satin finish. The colors are very pigmented, as you could see on the swatches. They blend really well when you're using them. And the colors remain vibrant once the paint has dry. It looks like the painting has already been varnished. Of course, I still varnish my paintings to make sure the painting is protected. I have to say, I am very impressed with this acrylic paint set. So my closing remarks are, this paint, even though the price has gone up a little bit, is 35 Canadian dollars now at Amazon.ca. Still, each tube of paint works out to be less than $3. The paint is very high quality. You have a variety of colors, including all your basics, all your primary, plus additional artist colors, like I mentioned earlier. So I would highly recommend this paint. I'm enjoying this paint very much. I'm very pleased with the results that I have achieved using this acrylic paint set. I'm going to link below the paint set to Amazon.ca and to Amazon.com, but you can look it up at the Amazon for your country. Okay, my friends, this concludes the review of the Castle Arts acrylic paint. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it entertaining and most of all informative. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment below and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. I need the likes and the comments and the views and the subscribers in order for this channel to survive. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.